Now that's a beautiful question because I'm dealing with one one situation like this right now. We are undergoing a due diligence where the investor is feeling that oh no, I am getting into a company which is loss making for last quarter, and the business owners are feeling they are giving away too much stake for a very little amount that they are getting, and both the calls are happening on the same day. Now, as somebody who is handling the whole transaction. it amuses me then who is making money out of this deal is the investor making money or is the business owner making money or how are we doing it so what happens is that all this is very relative my investors lawyer who is doing the due diligence is not able to find any other mistakes in the book so he slices the financial statement to off season and he is pointing that these three months are making losses but i said in garment business this is a lean time so you will always have losses nobody makes money during that time because there is no sales you look at annually forget annually you just add one month before what you have considered i am in significant profit but because he has to find some fault he will he is showing that picture what suits is it is very relative so what one needs to understand is that you look at a situation every transaction every deal every strategic tie up every partnership is based on a situation what is your underlying assumption you have purchased the share at 8 dollars today it has become 16 dollars you have a situation in hand either you can sell it and book 8 dollars profit or you hold on it may go up it may go down every time you consider a transaction it's a situation and as a business owner you need to understand what is your need in that situation if the need value payoff is reasonable you should go for it because the biggest regrets in life would come from not taking decisions i will quote a live example in 2016 when geometric limited was sold to hch humnader's company the ceo mr manu parpeya made 105 crores in cash for 6% stake had he not taken that decision he wouldn't have ever had a 100 crore retirement kitty so this is the kind of mindset that you need to carry as a business owner to be here to be here so glad to be part of the real real